Hello everyone. In this video, I show you how to find out who has added new user to the domain admins group. As the domain admins group is used to assign administrative roles to users in the domain, and adding a member or user to the domain admins group must be in an orderly manner. Due to the privilege it enjoys, memberships changes in the domain admins group must be checked. Therefore, I will create a new policy to control and audit who has added a new member to the domain admins group. The first step is to open the server manager and then click tools and from the menu click on group policy management. You can open or access group policy management in any way you prefer. After opening group policy management, scroll to the group policy object and click on it. Then, on the red side, right click and from the menu, choose new. Type a suitable name for the job, meaning write a name that makes it easy for you to access it at any time. Then, click the OK button to create. Then right click the new GPO and choose edit. Then in the left pane of the group policy management editor, go to the path shown in front of you on the screen, and they will leave you the path in the description box. Navigate to computer configuration. Then, expand policies. Under it, expand windows settings. Then, expand security settings. And under it expand local policies. And under it click on audit policy. In the red pane, you will see a list of policies. Under audit policy, find audit account management. And double click it. In the Audit Account Management Properties window, check the boxes to define these policy settings. Then, check the boxes next to Success and Failure. Then click Apply and OK thus we have finished with this policy. And the last step is to link it to the organizational unit that you want, or to link it at every domain level. Go back to the Group Policy Management Console. In the left pane, right click the required organizational unit to which the GPO is linked. Then from the list choose link an existing GPO. Then choose the policy you want to link. And instead of waiting for the scheduled update, right click the OU to which you link the GPO and click update group policy. This step will immediately apply the new group policy settings. Then, you can close the group policy management editor. Once this policy is enabled, whenever a user is added to the security enabled group, corresponding events are logged. Under the security log category, I will now open the event viewer to see the steps to know that a user has been added to the domain admins group. Open the search and type event viewer and click on it from the search results. After opening the event viewer in the left pane, expand windows logs, then click security. Here you will find a list of all security events that have been logged in the system. Then go to the other side, and click on filter current log. A pop-up window will open. This window is for filtering because the number of events is too large. Then enter 4728, in the field labeled, less than all event ideas greater than. Then click OK button. This will provide a list, of events with event ID 4728, which is logged. When a new user is added to a security group, it will show you many events. Double click the event ID to view its properties, and expand the window to see all the information in detail. First, in the section called Subject, it shows you, who added the new user, and the account name here is called Admin. Secondly, in the section called Member, it will show you the name and SID of the new user added to the group, and here. The member that was added is called Test1. And in the section that is called a group, the name of the group to which the user or member has been added is displayed here. And here the group is called Test. And this group is already a member of the domain admins group. Because I had already added it before. This method may be cumbersome for some users. But I think you will not use it much except in certain and specific cases. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.